the most beautiful woman in Europe, they called her. Born on November 9, 1914, as Hedwig Eva Maria Kiesler in Vienna, Hedy Lamarr's life began against the backdrop of a world at war. She arrived just as World War I broke out, four years before her homeland, Austria-Hungary, would cease to exist. The only child of Gertrude and Emil Kiesler, Hedy was a curious mind from the start. She often joined her father in discussing the latest advancements in technology, her young mind captivated by concepts beyond her years. Making things is my passion. I always have to have something to create. At just 12, she won her first beauty contest in Vienna, and by 16, she'd begun an acting career that would one day see her crowned with an award at the Venice Film Festival in 1933 and a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in 1960. She captivated audiences with her beauty and talent, but her passions ran much deeper. I wanted to be remembered as something more than just a pretty face. Yet Hedy was more than the role she played on screen. Behind the Hollywood glamour, there was a mind hungry for innovation. As World War II erupted, Hedy's inventive mind turned to helping the war effort. In 1942, she co-invented and patented frequency hopping spread spectrum technology with composer George Antheil, a method initially designed to prevent the enemy from jamming radio-controlled torpedoes. Inventions are easy for me to do. I can even see them in my head before I go to work on them. Though dismissed in her time, her groundbreaking idea would later lay the foundation for modern Wi-Fi, GPS, and Bluetooth technology. She was a visionary, a woman far ahead of her time. But the world wasn't ready to see her as both a beauty and a brain. People assumed that if you were beautiful, you couldn't also be intelligent. As fiercely as she defended her inventions, Hedy also protected her own image. In 1957, she sued Cameo Publisher for publishing an unauthorized autobiography filled with fabricated details. In 1974, she took on Warner Brothers over the use of her name in the parody film Blazing Saddles. Later, in 1998, she sued Coral for using her image without permission. I could make a lot of things better if only they'd let me. Though she faced dismissals and struggles for recognition, Hedy Lamar persisted. I knew my invention would change lives, but I didn't think it would take so long. Today, Hedy Lamar's contributions live on. From the silver screen to the science lab, her legacy as both a beauty and a brilliant mind remains. In 2014, long after her passing, she was inducted into the US National Inventors Hall of Fame, finally celebrated as the inventor she had always been. Making things was her passion, and her creations, her legacy, continue to shape our world.